Hey everyone, welcome to Figure Fantasy. So three days left for March and I'm advancing our tier list for April. I don't see any more figures to be added to this list for April. So without further ado, let's uh, check out the tier list. Okay guys, we have here the tier list for April. I'm gonna be putting a link to the uh, in the description of this video uh, for those who want to view the past tier list from january february march and now april so let's start off with um, the beginner tier so for the beginner tier i'm actually looking forward to seeing probably um, you know if they could do some reworks with rioma uh ophelia and midor enrico i think they deserve a rework um they're gonna be useless down the line uh they're gonna just gonna be you know usable for beginners so i hope they do reworks for them the rest though are um purple rarity so ume mizuno you have irina hiroshi karen mizuzaki and evita so no change here for your beginner class so let's move up one tier so for your mid game tier we have uh, one change um, as highlighted in yellow. So the rest are the same. Don't have any change. Uh, Sanada, um, I was able to kind of think about where he should be. And um, clearly he can really be used in mid game. He doesn't, he's not really limited to the beginner class. Um, if you really, you know, if you really don't have any uh, defenders, um, aside from Yuki, you could actually level up Sanada, but again, he's not go going. Go uh, he's not moving forward past mid game. So, again, this is your tier for the mid game. So we have Ri, Vasily, Yuna. Um, I think these four also need probably a rework or two. Uh, same for the four down for the beginner. So, um, Dolores, Sapphire, Chris, Minakami. Gwenyanera, Kazooie, and Yuki will round out your mid-game tier. So next, if we want to go up, so the specialized um, tier, um, no change here, clearly. I just actually took out one from your specialized tier. So it's still Suzumi, Akechi, Norris, uh, Astaroth, Yamazaki. Although Yamazaki recently... Um, I see more potential in him in the future. Future builds, especially if, if you have him at the higher levels, um, he can be good. He can be better than just a specialization. Then the specialized group is, of course, rounded out by Camille. So let's move up one tier again. So for your good figures, um, Sani was promoted from two specialized to good figures. Sunny will need um, support, really, um, together with Zephyr. Um, she can be very, very useful. But again, um, she, up until a four star, fifth star uh, Peach, then probably one star Diamond. If you have, you know, leveled her up, I think she's going to be kind of decent for a team. So to round out your good figures, of course, you have Usuke uh, here. For those who are asking, why is his hair in blue? This is actually a picture for the Japanese version. So you have Alfred, Yuina, uh, Aoi, Zhao Yu, Yoko, and Zhao Yun to round out your good figures. So let's see the new tier that I've added. Oh, not, not yet. But this is... You're above average tier. So you have here Vazruin, which is um, your mainstay. You have uh, Erenz, Embers, and uh, Xanta Kane here. The ones that are new here would be Mako. Mako really is, you know, has ev elevated her, her value, especially when it comes to the late games, um late game content um and also for what you call this for team building um she can really be dependent upon because her heals uh, her heal um what you call this she heals faster actually in terms of um, the the gaps in between heals 
she heals faster than Zephyr. So that is why she's here. And some teams, some team compositions really rely on her. And the last one, which is new, is Vivian. So Vivian is a new specialist. Um, probably gonna have more um, trials with her. Right now, she's on above average. Definitely good with multi multi enemy damage um again she 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 kind of is your xantha kane version but she is more on multi figure so that is how i may, may compare her but again she she can be better uh than this tier really really depending on uh, moving forward if we can see more action from her or more usage from her um, in the later stages or the later uh, what they call this into harder stages what I mean so next we're moving up a tier this is a new tier that um, this tier is actually uh, just before the best figure so they're nearly at the top they're not at the top yet um, I cannot really include them in the top because they 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 a lot of figures actually do perform well than them and they're not really in the above average figures which in any case they can really really shine in what they do so just gonna discuss first Harriet Harriet actually has been I've used Harriet for quite a while not even in in summon teams but in any team um, especially when you have a boss as a enemy harriet really is one of the best to bring because of blind because she does have summons and they do sacrifice themselves um she's nearly there as uh, if you bring her at five star peach she's really really gonna um, elevate herself really um, next is going to be Lubu. So Lubu, I can't really put her on the top. So, but he's nearly at the top already. Um, there are better militarists than him, so that is why I can't really put him at the top or one of the best units. Cow Cow as well. Oh, sorry, not Cow Cow. He is Chow Chow. So, uh, <laughs> if he, if you can take him probably up to four or five star Peach. He can do wonders for you, but at this point, um, I still haven't seen um, him, uh, you know, play that well or being used that well. So let's leave him there at nearly at the top. Then we have Rin. Rin with the correct uh, with, with the correct build would really, really be very good at this point for you. Um, I'm putting her near the top because eventually there will be better figures that her uh, than her in what they do as Vanguard. So she's near at the top. And the last one, which I had a difficulty actually whether I'd put him at the top or nearly at the top, is going to be Croso. So definitely there are better defenders than him at this point. More all around to use and well. Let's see in the future if if he eventually puts himself on the top. But for now, he is nearly at the top. And the last tier that I will share with you guys is the best figure. So no change here. So you have Megan, Zarola, Zephyr, Zuki Liang is here. Erixia, Hatsune Miko, Ayane Okada. Ayane Okada is kind of similar to to the build with uh, Crusos. Um, they shine more, especially if uh, they have more accuracy. So, but for her, she is more focused on, she can actually be used by both um, in boss stages and also in minion stages. Um, very good in terms of frost, especially if you have high accuracy. So definitely one of the best figures that we have for defender. Then you have Sakura as well, so reliable for silence. Um, I don't think she's going to leave the top as of now. For now, um, she is still better um, in terms of silencing um, opponents because it's more consistent than Ayane. You know, no, not Ayane. I, 
at Kino. So for I, um, I love her debuffs. Um, I've used her. She is actually four star with me right now. Peach, I'm nearing five star Peach with her, and uh, she really bothers a lot of figures. Uh, with a lot of debuffs she gives, she 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 has a variety of debuffs. So the the only question there is which one will pop out. So, but. In terms of um, in terms of the number, in terms of um, the consistency, it's there. Uh, the debuffs are out usually, but you just have to you know have to roll the dice in terms of what debuffs will come out. But definitely, she's gonna be big in PvP moving forward. Um, I'm looking at her dominating some of the content, especially if there are around five enemies on the side on the other side lesser so that she could so that she could control more of the board she would excel definitely in there and um as long as there are hordes um she's she she's gonna be good so that is why she's one of the best figures that i think you guys have a chance now to get because for for her event you could really farm her up to three star peach you know for free even so just try to you know farm her up until the end of the event that is happening now and you can really really use her um in your teams so that is it guys so hopefully we'll be having another um set of uh figures by april so We'll be ha we'll be testing them out, and as I do, you know, testing with these figures every day and in any content, I will probably move them up, um, depending on their performance and depending on their reliability. So, um, for those who have comments and suggestions, please put them down in the comment section below, and please do note that this tier list is actually based on my opinion so you know if you have any changes or gripes um <laughs> i may actually consider them and i will review all of your comments um if you just put them down in the comment section below so please do put a like if you like this tier list and um Again, if you're you're still here, please do consider subscribing um, because this helps my channel a lot. Thank you guys. Stay safe. Take care. This is the Warden and I'm out of here.